Hello and good evening. Today we're going to do another packet trace analysis in Wireshark. I'm going to generate some traffic to brute force uh, ASSH with a password that I do not know. But I do know the user and it's called Molly. So what I'm going to do in Wireshark is to basically close some of the different windows and start a new packet listener. I'm going to then start the brute force on the SSH using Hydra. I already did it once to test if it worked before I recorded it. And it does seem that the verbose mode is not really verbosing a lot to the screen right now. Even though it says verbose there and I have it there. What I'm really doing is using Hydra, providing a username and then using a word list to do a brute force attack. So one password and the username is combined and try to log in using SSH. This time I have four tasks per um, per go. So we should expect to see the first four packets actually being FTP, uh, SSH login requests. It says now that it found the password, so I'm quickly just going to close the um, the um, Wireshark capture and then I'm gonna go back and we can see that we found the password here on port 22 SSH the host is this, this on try hack me here you can see it's running um, the IP address on the domain try hack me and we can see that we found the password of butterfly now we want to see how this looks like in Wireshark so we Gonna open Wireshark now, and I fill out traffic to be SSH traffic only. And since this is um, encrypted, most of it SSH is, then we cannot really see a lot. But let's try and see what we can see. So, what I see here is that I, as my source address, this is me. This is the destination. I can see that I have the. I can right click and say follow TCP screen. And we can see here that I'm basically. Let's see, where am I? Um, uh, let's see, where can we see here? I don't really see a lot. I'm, I would like to say that. <laughs> Just looks like a lot of, you know. Um, encryption algorithms so basically this is not really not something we can use for anything so let's see if we can use anything of this well let's just go back to the SSH and we can see that we have something here we sent something client SSH and we get a response back um, and we have a key exchange something now as I also told you this is um, encrypted so it's difficult to see what's going on what I can see here is that I had a lot of packets that look the same in a way this IP address here is is definitely uh, spamming me so it's 10.11.0.2.1 and we can see that I'm getting a lot of traffic from that IP address on my server. We have this encrypted packet and the protocol and the key exchange in it and stuff like that. And the ecliptic curve using the Diffie Hellman uh, encryption it would be. I'm guessing at somewhere in the bottom we have some sort of, you know, successful message somehow I'm um, very difficult to see so what we could do is we can go to Google and type Wireshark SSH traffic and maybe we could get a like an image or something to show us how SSH traffic would look like 
So we're having a lot of. This is one of the images. It says analysis of SSH packet to know if they found our password. Now that, that is another video, and I would feel really bad showing another video on my channel. So what I'm really gonna do is. Um, Uh, see if I can find something that's, you know, some similarities or something in the packets. You know, I haven't really done this before using SSH, so I'm guessing the encrypted packages is, is the actual, you know, responses from the SSH service. I would say that I'm pretty confident to say that I can see that there's a brute force tech going on here because it's just a lot of the same. Um, so what I could do is say, you can see that this is the first one and yeah, so all of this Totally, yeah. So the very first one is actually being resolved from top to bottom, which is really nice. So we can see that we're getting, there's some key exchange, new keys, encrypted stuff. So this is the last packet. And it would seem that with this, we can by confidence say that this packet did not find the password because we know that it took some more time. So, and I'm, Kinda miss the scroll bar wherever that is. It's just oh, is it that one? No, it's not that one. So if we go to the bottom, we should maybe I don't know what to look for to be honest because it just say encrypted packet. And they do look the same, all of them, like 64, 32 bits, 64, 30. We have one 48, you know, that is, that is more interesting. So we can click it and, and say follow TCP stream. And yeah. All right, so I think I found the scroll bar. not okay so I was just reading a bit up on how to verify traffic and no not SSH of course and basically what we can see is that at some point we're gonna get a package saying 36 in length and you only see one of them and that is basically how the SSH protocol works that is going to send the package back which is the length of 36 um, and that basically means that someone guessed the password and it kind of makes sense in a way if you look at this way that we are sending four tasks per time and Maybe it's a coincidence, but it is actually within the last four. So that could be, I should probably have set, I'm going to do that in the future videos, T to one. So I'm only doing one thread, so it's easy to see. So right now it's just mishmash together. But right now I know that someone guessed my password. And this is not easy to see if you don't know it. Um... I would, I would like to say that, you know, I think this is really interesting way to look at it. Um, we can see that we only have one, uh, let's see, this is the, the one called some lip something. And this is basically one way of saying that we can see that this is, this, this wasn't a human typing commands. It, it looks like, you know, honestly, it looks like 
uh, some automation. So if I if I do let's say a new recording only for SSH, and I go back here and say SSH Molly at the IP of ten ten sixty one 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 nine. Press enter. We can see that I'm saying yes to the key. And we can see that I'm doing some Debian something, but it's no longer this lip as we had before. So now we can see that it's someone who typed the command instead of some automation stuff. And if I do the password test, we know it's butterfly, right? I'm getting I'm getting like like was it like fifty two let's do test again. We can just mark this there as this is the last trace, it's getting black, so I'm attacking something and we can see that I'm getting eighty four fifty two something, so it's not the correct password, but if I too do take butterfly as the password and press enter we can see that it's getting the, oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it, it, this is another thing you're gonna verify because I'm before I used the, the Hydra program, so it, it was automated. Now I'm basically looking at different responses. So I'm getting larger responses, like more data. And this is another way for you to see that something is off, that someone might guess. But people are not guessing by hand, usually probably using some automation program. Now, I don't know if the case is 36 for uh, Hydra alone. We could try to take, let's say, exit, clear again. Yeah, sorry, I need to reboot the capture. So we're gonna say Hydra, and this time one task per time, and we're gonna create, let's create a Molly's list. So let's go ahead and touch, let's say touch Molly list. That's gonna be the list of passwords we're gonna test for Molly. So we're gonna nano into money Molly's lists and say one two three butterfly hello and now that's it. Then we're gonna go ahead and run this as T one and we're gonna use Molly's lists. There you go. So I'm going to run this now. And we can see that we have a lot of traffic. At some point, it's going to guess this is right. And if it's totally correct again, we're going to look for the package of 36. So for Hydra, it is surely the way that we're having a package of the length of 36 that can verify that someone actually did guess our password. And once more, we can see that this is the lip SSH, you know, some version is, it's, um, it's, it's, it's being brute forced. So yeah. And this new key stuff is, uh, the, the exchange of keys we having. And when we try to log in, we have some encrypted packets going on. So it's a little more cryptic when, when the traffic is encrypted to verify the state and verify what's going on. But I really hope that you learned something from this video to further try and investigate, understand how things look and what to look for. I guess the important part here is to, to be aware of when you see this, you should definitely have a red flag and, and further investigate what really happened. So. But you should also be able to see that all these 52, 68, 52, 84, 84 locking attempts, it's the same when you're doing manually locking attempts, I would say. So you should definitely have a red flag again if you see a lot of them and investigate further. So until next time, I'm going to say take care.